The fourth flight test of SpaceX's Starship was a spectacular event, demonstrating the vehicle's impressive resilience as it re-entered the atmosphere and managed a controlled descent. However, while the ship's durability was evident, there's a strong chance that luck played a significant role in its survival. Concerns about the Starship's heat shield, especially the hinges of the flaps, have been long-standing. Elon Musk, CEO of SpaceX, has openly discussed these issues, stating that the hinge areas are a probable point of failure due to the difficulty in sealing these rotating components. The lessons learned from the fourth flight are now being applied to improve the heat shield for the upcoming fifth flight. The Structure of the Heat Shield Starship's heat shield comprises approximately 18,000 hexagonal tiles, primarily standardized for ease of installation and maintenance. These tiles are a prominent feature, covering the entire black half of the vehicle. There are two main types of tiles on the ship, those attached using mechanical pins and those bonded with adhesive. The majority, nearly all of the standard hexagonal tiles, use pins welded to the hull. These pins compress and lock into an internal core structure when the tile is pressed into place. The adhered tiles, unlike the pin ones, do not have an internal core structure. Instead, their backside is flatter to increase the surface area for the adhesive bond. Initially, a blue adhesive was used for most areas, but after the second flight test disappointing results, a red adhesive was introduced. This new adhesive was further utilized following the third flight test outcomes. The adhered tiles need to be thicker than the pinned ones, since the latter's attachment pins create a small gap that can be filled with different materials, a feature the adhered tiles lack. Components behind the tiles one of the primary components behind the pin tiles is a white thermal blanket, often referred to as felt. This felt provides backup thermal protection by filling the gaps between the tiles that would otherwise expose the steel beneath. A mesh material is placed over the felt to keep it secure. However, this configuration has been found insufficiently resilient, as a single missing tile can compromise the ship's integrity. To address these shortcomings, SpaceX has introduced significant upgrades to the heat shield for the fifth flight test. The new shield will feature stronger heat tiles, improved adhesive, and additional protective layers beneath the tiles. According to Musk, the new tiles are about twice as strong as the previous ones, while the external appearance remains the same. The changes likely involve the tile's composition, construction, or internal structure. The new ablet of protection layer. A critical new addition is the ablet of protection layer. This black material is placed beneath the tiles in areas where the original felt has been removed. The ablative layer, combined with an additional thin felt layer, provides enhanced protection. This two-layer solution proved successful during the fourth flight test, with the double ablative layer preventing burn-through. Moreover, SpaceX has added more gap filler to the edges of all four body flaps and the static arrows that bridge the flap and the vehicle's body. This filler, often made of felt, is adhered to the gaps, addressing the issue of inconsistent tolerances and gaps that allowed plasma to breach the area during the fourth flight. The forward flaps, in particular, received additional filler due to their higher sensitivity to heating, improvements in adhesive. The fifth flight test also sees the introduction of a new adhesive for the adhered tiles. This upgrade is a lesson learned from the third flight test and aims to improve the bond's strength and durability. The adhered tiles on the two bands of external stringers and the tip of the nosocomb were replaced and received this new adhesive. In addition to these upgrades, SpaceX has reconfigured the materials beneath the heat shield tiles. The areas previously occupied by white felt now feature the new black ablative material. However, not all the felt has been removed. In regions that experience lower heating, the original felt remains, suggesting that these areas are not at significant risk of a breach. Enhanced Tile Attachment System the comprehensive upgrades aim to make Starship's heat shield far more robust and resilient. The enhancements to the tile attachment system, the introduction of new materials, and the additional protective layers collectively represent a significant step forward in Starship's thermal protection capabilities. With these changes, SpaceX hopes to mitigate the risk of losing a ship during re-entry due to heat shield failures. The upcoming fifth flight test is crucial for SpaceX's aspirations of making Starship a fully reusable launch vehicle. While the upgrades may result in a mass penalty, prioritizing a working and reliable vehicle is essential at this stage. The focus is on ensuring that the ship can survive re-entry and safely return to the pad with further optimizations to follow. Iterative Design Approach 
In conclusion, the iterative design approach SpaceX employs is evident in the rapid and extensive modifications made to Starship's heat shield. The new tiles, improved adhesives, and additional protective layers all contribute to a more resilient and robust vehicle. As SpaceX continues to test and refine its designs, the goal of a fully reusable Starship becomes ever closer. The fifth flight test will be a critical milestone in this journey, and the excitement surrounding it is, as always, guaranteed. Looking ahead, the future of Starship. The success of these improvements is not only critical for the upcoming fifth flight test, but also for the long-term viability of the Starship program. SpaceX's ambitious plans to use Starship for missions to the Moon and Mars hinge on the vehicle's ability to reliably withstand the intense heat of re-entry from interplanetary space. The current enhancements are a step towards ensuring that Starship can fulfill these roles. Long-term viability and optimization. Looking ahead, SpaceX will likely continue to refine the heat shield and other systems on Starship. This iterative process is a hallmark of SpaceX's development strategy, allowing the company to rapidly identify and address issues. Each test flight provides invaluable data that informs the next round of improvements, steadily pushing the boundaries of what is possible. The focus on a reusable spacecraft is not just about reducing costs, but also about sustainability. A reusable Starship means less waste and a more efficient use of resources, aligning with broader goals of sustainable space exploration. The current upgrades to the heat shield are part of this larger vision, ensuring that the vehicle can withstand multiple re-entries and missions without significant refurbishment. The broader impact on space exploration. The advancements in Starship's heat shield technology also have broader implications for the space industry. By developing more resilient and effective thermal protection systems, SpaceX is setting new standards for spacecraft design. These innovations can potentially benefit other missions and projects contributing to the overall progress in space exploration technology, a milestone in spacecraft design. In conclusion, the upgrades to Starship's heat shield for the fifth flight test represent a significant milestone in spacecraft design. The enhanced tiles, new adhesive, and additional protective layers all contribute to a more robust vehicle capable of withstanding the rigors of re-entry. As SpaceX continues to iterate and improve upon these designs, the goal of a fully reusable Starship comes ever closer. The upcoming flight test will be a crucial step in this journey, and its success will pave the way for the future of space exploration. The excitement and anticipation surrounding this test are a testament to the groundbreaking work being done by SpaceX, pushing the boundaries of what is possible in space travel. That's it for today's video. What do you think of our video? Please let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.